Hello farmers and welcome back to Western Australia. December is here, the last month that I'm going to be doing contracts, question mark. Uh, yeah, we're at the end of the season, so this should be the last month. At least that's what I kind of agreed on, but we shall see. Our money is up to 125000 which is not too bad. Uh, last month, or last episode, we did go ahead and get ourselves some more, as I got my running shoes on here, so we're going to run around kind of quick. Uh, we got ourselves the other three orchards, pears, apricots, and plums. So, yeah, we're, we're producing those, and right now we got those. It's on distributing, but they're not going anywhere because our, our juice factory is not accepting them currently because we don't have them activated. We also got ourselves another greenhouse. We're storing all that other than the strawberries. So that is ongoing. As for the compost, I pretty much got most of them somewhat full. I did leave myself a little bit of compost just in case I run out somewhere and I got a little bit of extra. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I should be at some point getting that kind of cleared out so I can get the organic waste out of our production buildings and put that in here and at some point cover the well, compact cover and get some more compost. Uh, last month, as I came over here, I did not realize, but uh, our sheep had some offspring, so uh, we got a few more sheep running around here. We now got 106 sheep running around, so the wool is starting to pile up nicely. Uh, we might be selling that this month because November is a good time to sell wool. It's December, I know, but the price is still pretty darn good. Uh, let's run over to here because, yeah, the grass field will be getting to here shortly, making silage bales. Our sugar cane is growing nicely so that's looking really really good uh i did check on our grain trailer i was like oh no does my grain trailer take sugar cane it does so we're all set there when it comes time to harvest the sugar cane uh this will accept it which will go right into our sugar plant uh meanwhile you may have noticed uh we do got this going on here it is some harvesting contracts i got two of them going on currently if we go to the contract page, I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, right now, I am doing this one right here for 26782. I actually borrowed the equipment on field number 23 to do this. Kind of weird. Field 25 is bigger than 23, as you can expect, seeing the price difference, what they're paying us. The equipment for field 23 was bigger than the equipment for field 25, so I borrowed it on field 23. And of course, also, with that being the case, it was cheaper to borrow the equipment on that contract rather than the bigger field. Uh, we're going to need to unload that combine in a moment. So this is about the only issue with doing these contracts currently on harvesting. Even though the combine, I think, holds 14,000 liters, I'm going to be over here quite a bit unloading it uh, as I'm trying to do our grass field. Now there is rain in the forecast. Rain should be here somewhere around 9 o'clock. So I got plenty of time to do the grass field because the canola field, which I thought would be ready this month, is not uh, ready for harvest. So that'll be next month. So I got I got all month just to focus on the grass field, which is going to be half silage bales and also uh, some hay making as well because we need some hay for the sheep and also our future cows also. Uh, let's uh, dive into here. Maybe I'll go deliver this grain. Because there is something else I want to show you. And I did not realize it until I was looking for the spinnery to deliver the wool. And that is, there is a silo down here at the store. And the interesting thing is, I thought, well, is this a sell point, right? It is not a sell point. And I think I can dump grain in there. So it's kind of like a co-op silo, I would assume. So what I'm going to test with, and I might as well go over with this barley that we got right here. This is the third time I've unloaded this harvester, so... Yeah, I'm not going to get another harvester loaded here. So let's go over to where the store is. And I'm going to drive across the crop because I will not destroy uh, other farmers' crops. We do have crop destruction on, but that's only for our fields. So let's zip over to the store. Now I want to see if I'm able to dump barley into the silo. If I can do that, then when I harvest the canola next month, I'll probably store it and wait for the better price for canola. Or if I really ever need the money. December or January is a bad time to be selling canola. 
for obvious reasons, it is harvest season for canola, so of course the price is going to be low. But if I can store it and sell it for a better price later on, I think the low price for canola on hard economy is 500 and I think the best price is like 750 So a pretty good difference, enough to make me want to store it. If I was desperate need for some money, then... I mean, I'm, I am in desperate need of money, but there's nothing currently I need to buy. So... I'm better off just storing it and wait for a better price to get a better profit. Also, <laughs> yeah, a lot of things going on here. But the store page does have an interesting combine for sale. But just like before, I think there was a combine for sale before. And it's not quite the combine that we're looking for. So I think we're just going to hold off onto that. And I definitely need the money for other things. Like a sugar processing plant for one which is going to cost me $100,000. Uh, some people have said, don't do the sugar processing now, do it you know, later, just sell the sugar cane. Well, I might as well get my money for the sugar cane. That's the whole point, right? So put it on down. So here is the silo. Let me go ahead and activate the uh, interactive zone markers. So am I able to dump grain in here and then take it back out? I'm guessing no I cannot hmm not giving me the option to dump here well fudge so what is this do I need to own the property possibly to able to dump in that silo it can't be used for... There's no train, so it's not like... I need to turn off my uh, uh, working speed there and get rid of that as well. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's no train. So I wonder if I need to buy the property in order to use that silo. Which, you know, would make sense. Well... At least now I kind of know that uh, I'm not able to drop off the grain in there. Well, I thought I thought we uh, had something going for us right there, but apparently not. All right, so let's go deliver this grain. The only place that we can deliver grain, and we'll start completing this contract little by little. As I try to take care of our grass field and make silage today. And both of our contracts will be delivering here, I would assume. And of course, if there's any extra grain left over, we'll get that. So I'll just go ahead and sell it. Also, uh, make sure the money's not going up, which it is not. And the combine needs to be unloaded already. <laughs> so... That's the only thing about doing contracts for harvesting is if you're trying to do other work, yeah, you're going to be kind of busy. I think that says 13% has been delivered. So let's spin around here. I'm hoping that we don't have any harvesting contract farming simulator 22 issues as to where there's not enough crop on the field to get the contract done. Because that would kind of suck a little bit, but... If that happens, we'll do the same thing as I did on American Falls to where we'll just get the whole field harvested, deliver everything that we can, then I'll have to delete the contract and then just add in the money afterwards. But I hope it's not one of those contracts because I would like the extra grain for the extra cash. And also, if you're wondering, with our current money situation, if I needed to borrow some money, I did check. I can currently borrow, I think, $550,000 which uh, we may need when it comes time to the sugarcane harvest. Should not need it for the canola harvest because I'm just going to go ahead and lease the harvester and the header as I did last time when we did... Was it barley in the field as well at that time? So we'll probably just lease the same right into the tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, same equipment as last time because that seemed to be the best fit for us. Uh, where are you, harvester? Oh, you're down there. I may have to help the harvester out when it gets towards the edge of the map. Which we are just about at. 
So this field's going to take a little while to get done. And I'm hoping I, you know, we get it done at a good rate. Because after the harvest is done, well, maybe the farmer will want either the field to be plowed or maybe to be fertilized for the next crop. Try to get all the contracts I can this month. It's almost do or die. Oh, yeah, so the store page, while that's unloading here. Uh, yep, the class, or the class, try on, 75, uh, 750, 720. 62% off. Oh, yeah, and I did also have a look at the mod, which allows more used vehicles. Now, the only downside, the way the mod is set up, but this can be changed, is, as you just saw, that combine, whoops, uh, was 62% off. With the mod, the way it's set up, the max discount you can get is up to 15%. That's 1.5%, not 50. So, yeah, we're seeing items at 60% off with the mod. Max discount is 15%. Now, you can change that in the XML file if you like to, as the mod author has said. Uh, and it does allow for more used items to show up. So, currently, I think I'm just going to stick with the base game use system. And go from there. No, let's go ahead and tab backwards. I just want to make sure because these tree lines here, the combine may have a little bit of an issue. We'll see. But yeah, as for adding more used vehicles, unless I edit the XML file myself, I'd rather not have as many items and get the possibility of getting the forage harvester. Yeah, you're not going to go around that corner. Uh, the, getting the forage harvester at like maybe half off or even 40% off or whatever it is rather than have a better chance that it does come up and just get, I don't want to say just get 15% off. Because 15% off is still a pretty good discount. So we'll keep it as is for now. And like I said, I could go into the XML file, edit that so it can go up to 60% off. Uh, I don't know what the max discount is for used vehicles on the base game is. But we saw the combine 62% off, so maybe... 65% is the most you can have off. Right, once I get around this headland here, then we can set off on a worker. <laughs> then I can finally get to harvesting our grass field. Now as for our sugar factory, yes, I need $100,000 for that. I thought about putting it down. But in looking at the schedule of things, uh, I will be able to get another cut off the grass field before the sugarcane harvest arrives. So I don't want to cut up more of the grass field or cover more of the grass field when I can get more grass next harvest. I don't know why the worker, I don't know if the worker is hitting the edge of the map or not. All right, we'll help you out. You may be hitting the edge of the map. So we'll assist you along here. I think I got you on three headlands. And the worker is leaving a swath. I'm not, I can't pick up the swath. I don't have the mod, basically, that allows me to pick up the straw off a harvested contract. I did that on East Vineland, and it paid off very well for us. But for this series, I think we'll leave it off here. And you know what? We're down here. Let me go empty this out so that way I can get... <laughs> uh, this episode was supposed to be a little bit of grass work, but... Yeah, so far I've been doing nothing but explaining what happened in between episodes and currently what's going on here. Uh, if you do know about that silo down at the shop, just let me know. I, I'm guessing I got to buy the property in order to use that silo. I wonder how much that property is, because the silo I want to buy is like 300000 And that would be, of course, put up in the farmyard. But if the land down here is relatively cheap, and who knows, it may actually be $0 to buy that. If it is zero, I may buy it just to see if I have access to the silo after that, after the fact. Alright, that is the combine pretty much empty. 
So we'll leave the engine running there. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this all set up here. Uh, let's turn. Oh, wait, before I do that, what am I on? 159 centimeter bales. That's what we want. I did reset the bale counter. So the Massey Ferguson's in charge of baling. And we are on swath dropping mode. We should be all set there. And let's go ahead and uh, 25 should be good distance to follow. Uh, looks like Frank Jr. is in charge of bail wrapping today. And oh, yeah, okay, I was like, is the front mower down? It is down. All right, so we're all set. So the silage bales now, we are just gonna sell. Uh, I was making them and going to keep them for the cows but I think you know the cows are basically here just to make solid manure so we can go ahead and make some more compost uh, we'll sell the milk of course that they produce and the byproduct from the sugar factory we'll just sell instead of making TMR and we should be all set there it looks like our baler is picking up most of everything I think I got the automatic drop turned on. So I think half the field down to the other tower right there. Not this one, but the second one. I think that's where we'll make silage with. And then the rest of the field I'll make some hay. Because currently we're just having the sheep. Uh, we're not quite ready for the cows yet. Got to get a little bit more financially stable before I go ahead and put some cows in. I thought about not having the cows, but I do like the fact when I was testing out for this series, and I was testing out the Expandable Pastures mod, that we can have the cows and the sheep basically in the same area. So you can overlap the Extendable Pastures, so the cows and sheep will be roaming the, uh, the wild lands of Australia here together. So that'd be kind of interesting to see. Uh, yep, automatic drop is on. We got our first silage bale. That should be about 45,000 liters of silage in there. Well, currently it's grass. But in the future, it'll be silage in three months. I definitely want to be careful of our sugar cane. So money-wise, we're looking okay. Uh, and like I said, I would like to kind of stick to this being the last month that I do contracts if I can help it. In emergency areas, meaning if we really get strapped on some cash and the series becomes stagnant from not moving because of money issues, then I can start looking at maybe doing some more contracts in the future. But yeah, do, the reducing the amount of contracts I do to zero and maybe a couple on down the line, that might be okay. Uh, this will allow my bailer... Well, they don't really need to catch up too much. And you are quite a ways on down the field. I don't think there's a, there's a whole lot of fields to harvest uh, this month. So maybe two more? I mean, there's not that many fields on the map to begin with. Because they're all relatively huge. I think there's 25 fields maybe near 30 somewhere 25 to 30 so not a whole lot and we own three of them we got our grass field the, the sugar cane field and the canola field so it's whatever the other farmers get done am I close enough we are Oh, and I must have you on unload as your harvest. That's fine. It's all good. But I mean, at least we're not doing all grass work today. Which we have done quite a bit in this series so far. So as for our next purchase, other than the sugar mill... 
I think it may be whatever comes up in the use section. Have to wait and see. Just take it day by day at this point. And I am going to have a full combine here. Or not a full combine, a full trailer. Uh, I think we'll call that good for now. And I almost forgot to check. So if I go here, if I go farmland. That is... Currently it's almost a million. So just to buy the area of the shops in it. Not the greatest, uh, not the greatest plan. Alright, so from here we'll cut almost straight across. Almost a perfect line to go across and the rest will be made in the hay. Now, another thing I noticed, and you may have noticed when I showed off the lambs that we got running around the sheep pen. Where I have the expandable pasture... The grass doesn't seem to have grown uh, to equal this field here. I don't remember when I put the expandable pasture down. So, I don't know if when I put it down, it leveled out the grass and it's just a month behind or what. But the grass may not be growing there. Not that big of a deal. So, I just won't be mowing the grass where they are because so I don't want it to look like uh, well there's no grass growing so I'd rather have a little bit of grass showing there than none at all oh yeah someone didn't mention though <laughs> uh, we need a bigger house or, or a new house uh, with our money situation I think we're, we're fine um it's not comfortable sleeping on wooden pallets, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Uh, maybe in the future, before Hudson moves on in, we'll get ourselves a better house. Have to wait and see. I do know one thing, but although I haven't looked for them too hard, there were a couple of farmhouses that I used in FS19 that I loved. And I don't think they were brought over to FS-22. I always like the farmhouses that have a little bit more detail, like uh, the ones we used in 19. Oh, and I can't remember the modder's name that did both of those houses that I used quite often. But one had a swimming pool. Uh, but of course, we can go inside, run up and down. Uh, I think the other one was done by L mountain modding and I may have actually used their house yeah wait that house I think I actually have used on no man's land I can't remember the name of the other modder that did a house that had the swimming pool if you know what I'm talking about uh, or if you know you know where to get that house I would not mind probably using an FS22 if it's from directly from the modder themselves I, I don't like third party websites that we all know the ones that steal mods from other creators and then upload them to third-party websites and earn money off of them that way. But us getting a house for, <laughs> for ourselves in the future, uh, that, that's a ways off. We got a ways to go before we get that far. So, yeah, we'll be saving these silage bales for next, I almost said next summer, uh, but next winter in Australia. So, late June, early July. And it won't be as much as we sold in the past because we're reducing the amount of silage bales that we make because we got to make some hay. But it still should be a pretty good, I'm going to say like a quarter of a million somewhere in that area. I'm going to assume a quarter of a million dollars that we'll make. Yeah, so it's going to be just basically me, at this point, trying to make silage bales at the same time, keeping our workers going. Uh, where are you, Combine? Oh, you made it all the way around to there. Well, I won't be able to unload you completely. 
but we'll get this delivered. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned right now, uh, but we'll see what happens when I deliver this one. So the first load, that was 13% delivered. So in theory, this would be 26% delivered, although that was not a full trailer I brought over. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to have enough crop off the field to get this done. I will try the silo again just to see. Oh, wait, I'm full? Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the trail, I'm like, why'd you stop unloading? I'm like, we got plenty of space in there. Uh, but according to the game, we are full. Yeah, there's probably enough crop here to get it up to 100% delivered. Probably underestimating how big the field actually is. Let's cut across the river here. The one thing I got to be careful of is this field right in front of us. I want to make sure I don't take a contract for harvesting this field because it's not fully ready for harvest. It's kind of a, a misfit field right now. It's, it's half ready, half not. So I can see a field off to our left. That one is ready for harvest. That's a pretty... Well, I shouldn't say big field. They're all big fields in Western Australia. That's a big field. And I don't think any other fields other than that one are ready. So I may get one more contract. So what I'm probably going to do is once I finish this field that we're doing, I can collect on that one for $25,000. Uh, the smaller field, I'll go you know, get that one done in the meantime. But I won't collect on it. Uh, I'll wait to see if any more harvesting contracts do come up. You know what? I think I'm just going to get this delivered because the combine is already waiting to be unloaded. Even though we got a JCB getting across the map at a decent pace. I can't uh, come over here, unload, and get back over there. I'm going to say it's, it's going to be like 30% of the field's been delivered because I don't think the first trailer was a full one. Oh, close. It does say 29%. And that is our canola field right there. Flowering nicely. Of course, once we get that field harvested, we'll have to have a look at our crop rotation and see what is the best crop to put in there next. Oop. There's a car. Yep. Need to look for traffic? Nah. We're fine. We got insurance. Kind of. Oh, yeah. I do got... I was like... I hope I left my uh, time scale at times one because rain will be here, like I said, at nine. And I think the rain will stop at one. So, I mean, it's going to rain for quite a bit, actually. But, you know, as long as I leave the time scale at times one when I am... When it's not raining, I got plenty of time to get all this work done. And when I went from November to December, I did not go to the house to sleep through the night. I just sped up time and kept my eye on the contract to see if anything came up. Uh, when midnight came, there were two weeding contracts that just disappeared right at midnight. And no contracts appeared until 5 a.m., so... Are no contracts appearing between midnight and daybreak? 5 a.m.? Couldn't say. So, not the kind of harvesting I thought I was going to be doing today. But here we are. Yeah, when I realized that my canola field wasn't ready, I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I should be doing these contracts to bring in the cash and also bring in some money from the extra crop.
because if it goes well, we could make maybe 10,000 off the extra crop in this field. So you take the 25,000 plus the 10,000, 35,000 in total for doing a contract while I get other work done. I'm just going to let you go ahead and do that. I need to get back to doing this. Yeah, so really after I harvest the canola field in January, since I won't be doing contracts, I'll probably, you know, right after that, we'll probably get in right to the harvesting of the sugar cane but before I do that I'll take care of the grass field a little bit where the sugar plant needs to go and as I mentioned that's going to go over by the grain mill so over in that corner good place for it because it's right next to the sugar cane field And the sugar cane should grow for three years, this being year number one. And then, of course, after that comes year number two and year number three. I think we can all count like that. So, it's a good place for it. And by the time we get to year number four of needing more sugar cane, uh, hopefully we have enough money to where we have ourselves like a semi-truck with a bigger trailer. So wherever I go to replant sugarcane, it might even be right in that field again. Um, yeah, we'll be able to transport it and get it around the map at a decent pace. Actually, you can see some old sugarcane by the railroad tracks right there. Don't know when that got put in. I'm guessing when they were making the map, they were testing some things out. And at one point, sugarcane, the field probably extended that far. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So currently six silage bales. So that's almost. I would say a quarter of a million liters of silage currently being fermented. Let me just go ahead. I'm, I can't help myself. I got to keep looking at contracts to see what's coming up. All right, nothing there. Now, the one thing I still got to keep in mind is that our loan payments is roughly about 11500 per month. We got two loans that we got to repay. I don't want to have too many loans and too much loan payments on this map. But at the same time, we got to make sure that we are growing so I, I, you know, I may have to borrow some more money when it comes time to maybe purchasing something used or at the time if it seems beneficial to us or if I can get enough money to buy something that we're going to definitely need in the long run borrow money on that and uh, get it on the farm I was ready to say, let me get this one more pass done here, then we'll go unload the combine. The combine's already telling me, nope, I need to be unloaded now. Now, I think that combine can hold near 15,000 liters of grain, so it's filling up rather quickly. should be getting a little bit of a head of the baler anyways 
I think the bailing working speed is 13 and we can cut the grass at 14. So we're getting a little bit of space between us. get myself in the lane and you are over there yeah but this contract is actually going to take a while because I mean the contract started before I started recording and we're about over a half hour in So it's going to take a while to get this field harvested. This is why when it comes time for us getting a combine, which I already have it picked out, we are going to be getting the honeybee header for it. That's the 60 footer. The bigger the header, the better. Oh yeah, I think I did see for FS25. So currently in the base game of 22, the biggest header is a 45 footer. I think in 25, the biggest header is going to be a 50-footer. I have seen real, real videos of the honeybee headers, the 60-footers in use. It's kind of one of those weird things to where when you play the game like we are, and you get kind of used to the size of the equipment. It doesn't look that big, but then when you see them in real life, like in videos, or you know, if you're if you're around farms enough and you see the size of equipment, you start realizing that is a big piece of equipment. That we are 40% done here. I think we have the combine as empty as it's going to be. So let me go ahead and get back into the mowers. And get back to cutting the grass. As I got plenty of it to do. So I'm going to continue on doing what I've been doing here for like the last 10-15 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, I'll get the grass cut so the silage bales are all done. Uh, that field that we're harvesting, that will be done by next episode. Possibly the other field will be also. But I think next episode will be down in the other part of the grass field making some hay. And we'll see if any other contracts come up. But we'll be in the second half of December. It'll be the afternoon hours after the rain showers. But I'll keep my eye on the store page. If something comes up, then uh, we'll probably start from there. I do plan on getting through the rain showers and having what you see here pretty much done. We've seen enough of it this episode. Don't need to be seeing it again next episode. But yep, we'll be making some hay, storing that up for the sheep mostly, and also getting some ready for the cows as well. I don't think we'll get to January. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, if there's no contracts available to us then we probably will get to January and we'll start harvesting our canola field and then uh, yeah we got to fertilize this field but you know the routine in the grass field anyways yeah I think we are all set so if you made it this far in the video and you liked what you saw don't forget to hit that like button helps helps out the channel and the video more than you know and also if you haven't done so already and you're thinking about doing so please hit the subscribe button as well but anywho that is where we are going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in Western Australia. But until then, have a good one.